All right, let's take a look at this line here. Max for live devices now support multi-audio input and output, which can be accessed via the track's input and output channel chooser. Devices can be routed to arbitrary tracks via the live API. So, so far I've figured out this part, and based upon the forms, it seems like Ableton is still working on this side of things, or at least preparing the documentation for how that's been implemented in the live API. But this one, really easy to figure out. So here's what we've got. We jump over to Ableton, uh, and I've already wrote up just a little Max for Live device, still called Test Quad, but it's actually uh, Test 64 at this point. But to show you how this is working, we open it up, look at what's actually happening inside of here. The new plug-in and plug-out objects accept arguments, which they didn't before, and those arguments specify the specific channel we want to output. I've tested up to 64 channels here that works. Um, I'll keep testing to see how hard how it goes or wait until that documentation comes out, but uh, 64 is kind of an insane amount per track we're talking, 64 per track, um, and maybe that's more, but that's what I've got so far anyways. Um, so I've got plug-in receiving up to 64 channels of audio on this track, going into a mixer, plus some visualizers there just for testing, going into a matrix control, which I've got set up down here, so we can route any of those 64 inputs to any of those 64 outputs just for testing purposes. This thing is really impractical in terms of something you'd actually use, but just testing and showing here. And then that all goes into a plug out that's sending up to 64 channels of stuff. So if we switch back over to Ableton, and now we go into this track. First of all, here's what this track sounds like. Just a sweet beat. Um, but now we can go in and first off, let's get this thing routed. Oops, we've got to turn on our effect here. We've got no sound passing through because we need to route it. So I'll go in and I'll pass uh, input one and two. Let's send input one and two to output three and output four. So now we can see down here that output three and four is going over. So then we can go external external out. Oops, sorry, we actually need, uh, let's show the, the sending first. So, um, and maybe we'll go in and we'll patch also one and two going out to one and two. And let's just bring down that volume. So now we could go over to this receiving side of things and I could set this track to listen to my source track and specifically listen to, there we can see all 64 possible outputs. So I can set up to listen to three and four, turn monitor it in. As you can hear, like, I don't hear any phase issues. It sounds just louder to me. So there we go. We've got this track, which is sending audio to itself, as well as to a third and fourth output out of this plugin itself. And we go over and set up that track to listen to inputs three and four. Um, we can also send into uh, another track. So let's go in and let's go back to just stereo output here. And now let's go over to this track. Let's drop on another test quad on there. And now let's go over and let's send this thing out to some external output. And oops, not external, but rather to our receiving track, which is called rec. But specifically, any of those 64 inputs that are currently made visible by that max live effect that's set on there. So let's route it to three and four. And if we come over to our rec track, pop open its receiver, and we take three and four, we route that to one and two. Now you can see down here, input on three and four is passing out to one and two. We got that level. And now we've got track coming from this track, passing out to this track's input three and four, receiving on that three and four. And oops, let's also go. No input here, just to make the point totally clear. There you can see multi-channel output and multi-channel input using Max for Live. Uh, just to kind of further show or prove that this is possible, here I've set up where I've got uh, 32 stereo tracks, each of which, if I expand them out a little bit so we can see here, each of which is passing their output to a track called Pass Through, which is this one over here, but successively. So each is the next stereo channel up. Then on this Pass Through track, I've got that same 64 channel Max for Live device. If I open it up, I've patched 
each input to its corresponding output. So input one goes to channel one, where input 64 goes to output 64. Uh, so if I get this playing, we can see that all the inputs are going directly to their outputs. But then I've gone, and rather than just having it all come out of that one track, over here on the right-hand side, I've set up this one pass-through track to listen or be heard by all these other tracks. So each of these destination tracks is listening to that pass-through track as its input, but all the 64 channels of output out of there. And it all sounds great. There's no problem. So we're passing 32 channels into one track, remaining separate, and then passing out all those tracks out to the other tracks. So uh, multi-channel Maxford Live devices seems to be working great in the new Ableton Live 10 public beta.